Located in downtown DC, the Museum of Illusions has everything from optical illusions to immersive rooms. We're going to explore the main exhibits here, and spoiler alert, we'll even show how they work. The way that this works is it's just like a compartmentalized chair. So if you stand further away, it looks like a full chair, but it's actually just bits and pieces. And so you just sit on the ground and it makes you look tiny. Okay, this one's a little self-explanatory, but the floor here is super tilted. So if you are in this corner, this is the lowest angle of the floor. And then if you go up, the floor goes higher and then you look much bigger. The difficult part is to remember which door leads out of here. <laughs> I think this vortex tunnel is gonna make me feel nauseous, but let's try it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't. I feel like I'm coming out of the twilight zone. Don't worry, there is an emergency stop button for the vortex tunnel. So how it works is there are mirrors here to make it look like it's a standalone table, but you can actually go inside of it. This one took a while to figure out, even though we were reading it and reading it. So there's a mirror cut diagonally in the middle of this display, and, it, and the shapes are cut down the middle too. So it looks like it's see-through, but it's not. It's just a mirror. Hopefully that makes sense. This is definitely the most disorienting room so far. It actually makes me a little dizzy, so maybe don't go in there if you have balance issues. So I realized why this room is so disorienting. If you stand up straight, you appear slanted, but if you try to make yourself appear straight up in the mirror, then you start to topple over <laughs> like that. I genuinely do not understand this. This is the same size. Like, I don't understand. It's so trippy. I think this is my favorite room. I just, I love the colors. I feel like I just got out of an amusement park. That's how much fun I had. It was great because it was very immersive and interactive. You didn't have to read a lot to understand what was happening. What did you like the most about the Museum of Illusions? Comment below and let us know. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Let me know when you're filming because I can't keep my eyes open. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? There's only so many things I can fix and post. <sighs>